all right hello everyone welcome to my channel Parchy tech so um this is gonna be my first tech review on my channel just started this channel today as far as doing tech i already started it a few weeks ago doing only gaming but um i'm kind of a tech person who pretty much trying to transition into tech reviews as well so bear with me this might not be the best or the most professional video but um today as you can see in the title of my video i've been using uh androids from 2010 so i would say basically i've been using android for the past 10 years and using android i used to enjoy it um pretty much it's still enjoyable on android but um back back um for the past few galaxies i've been using all the galaxies i used to use lgs as well um most i only use androids and lgs as my um android phones so all the flagship the galaxies the lg g for g series we i used to use all those um but um i figured that um, android their lifespan for those phones they don't their software wise they don't support them for as long they don't support them for a very long time just like apple they support their devices for a longer time so budget wise i think it's best for me to go with the iphone as far as having the phone for a longer time getting the latest software updates since android most android um most people who make the android phones like samsung lgs they don't support their devices for bad more more than two years max from my experience so that's one of the reasons why i pretty much try to transition over to the iphone since doing my research and see how they keep up with their devices they try to always give them the latest software updates as long as they have the hardware to support the software so this is the iphone xr i traded my samsung galaxy s10e for this phone so i've well, since i got the phone i didn't want to jump ahead and do any reviews on there i wanted to use it for a while before i try to say anything about it um i have this phone since august of 2019 so now it's january i would say roughly six months since i've had this phone and pretty much it's a very good experience the phone is the it's smooth you know easy to navigate it's a, most of the things on this phone you have to get around it's way different from what i'm used to when on android as far as pretty much example like closing the screen i'm used to having a back button on my android phone this one i have to swipe up here to get off the current screen or app or whatever um program i'm in at the time um on this one as well the keypad when texting on this phone here i gotta use i'm used to using the android here where i would have the numbers at the top of the keyboard now i have to always click this numeric button right here so i can get to the numbers and, and the uh, symbols and the icons but um it's very fast very fluid i've gotten a few updates on this phone since i got it which is a pretty good sign uh the latest iphone that came out was the iphone 11s and the 11 pro and pro max i wanted to upgrade to those phones but looking at the phone there's nothing nothing really different about those phones than this one except the this one has a a12 bionic chip and the pros have the a13 bionic chips and as far as the cameras this is the xr so you have a single wide angle lens the pros the pro and the 11 and the 11 pros the 11 has the dual cameras where it has the wide angle and the ultra wide on the pro models you will have the telephoto you have the wide the ultra wide and the telephoto lens um but the front of the phone is pretty much the same with the notch the bezel here on the xr is a little bit thicker i uh, sorry let me get the case off here so this one you can see is the white got this in a white color it's a pretty nice color um so yeah 
the apps as well going on using the apps on the iPhone from my experience is better than the uh, Android as far as this how it performs is smooth the scrolling is smooth and nice pretty nice stable software on the iPhone here the only downside I have with this oh, um, compared to the Android is not just specific Android the specific phone I will say the Galaxies is the support for SD card and the storage now this phone has 128 gigs on my other phones it has 128 base storage plus it has an expansion slot SD card slot where you can expand your memory so I, I take a lot of photos and videos on my phone and pretty much the 128 gig I'm almost through that as already but I'm not ready to upgrade as yet I'm just gonna wait until the iPhone 12 comes out since the difference between these and the 11 and 11 pros is not a significant upgrade for me per se but if as I said I take pictures and videos the cameras on the pros and the 11 would do very well it would be a pretty, pretty significant upgrade compared to this but that's not enough for me to upgrade at the moment since I have another camera that I use so I'm just gonna wait until the iPhone 12 comes around uh, basically here the app store on this is pretty nice as well it doesn't have too much bloatware on there on the app store and it's pretty it, the game I would say especially the gaming on this phone oh my it's pretty smooth compared to Android it's pretty smooth and the apps as well they don't have too much ads included on the Android phones I'd see ads from time to time you open an app on your phone you see ads playing in there this one is pretty nice there's not too much of those on the phone so the app that I use mostly on this phone is the music app I use the music app a lot since I don't have spot I don't really stream music I pretty much save the music on my storage and also since I don't have unlimited data I have to do that basically um, also I'm used to Android where it could have YouTube and you could swipe down on YouTube pretty much swipe down it created a little tab where it has this the video or the music you're listening to on YouTube it would still play while you're texting or surfing the web you still have that in the background and as far as the settings menu and that it's pretty easy to navigate it, it took me a while to get through this and uh, it has dark mode pretty much I used to use dark mode on my galaxy as well and it's here so there's not nothing that I really miss on the galaxy and Android the only thing as, as I mentioned before was the storage and this is a pretty smooth phone it's pretty fast I have no issues with it the only other issue I have is the LTE and data connection as far as the network see the signal on this phone and on Android in certain areas I'd have like a full bar here I might have one bar at from time to time but I pretty much checked did some research on YouTube and that and I saw that it's pretty much a huge issue with these phones I'm not the only one having that issue I've seen a lot of people saying it's the same issue and I found out that is the modems is modems that's in this phone that is the main cause for that so if there's not a way they could fix it by software I'm sure there's a hardware update later on and yeah so this phone is pretty solid the build quality I would say is better than the S10e that I had this has aluminum bezels around it here and the glass back looks nice in the white right here you can see the aluminum bezels it has a notch pretty much a lot of people complain about the notch but for me it's not a huge issue watching videos or anything you get used to it pretty quick you know it's not a turn off for me it got the bezels bezels on this is a little thicker than the other pros but you get used to it you won't notice it after unless you're trying to compare them in a store or something or you have both the speakers it plays pretty loud pretty nice and clear and it has the one thing I also like with this phone is the silent button right here so on the Android I have to turn it on go and pull down the tab 
put it on silent or whatever you know, I want to do here I could actually flip this switch right here this one right here you put it on silent so that's another plus right there so basically my experience with the iPhone has been pretty good I have no complaints and as I mentioned before the apps are pretty smooth on this phone no glitches the games run pretty smooth they're pretty much very well optimized for this device and the camera on this device is awesome as you can see the camera that's a rear camera and I'm gonna flip to the front a little bit so this is the front camera right here you can see me in the background a little bit so yeah the cameras are top-notch cameras they're pretty nice no complaints in that department uh, pretty much matches up to the galaxy as well they're pretty they have their they're good that they're pretty much have their advantages and disadvantages in certain areas and yeah so this is a very nice for transition for me going from Android to Apple I have I'm pretty much get used to I got used to this phone pretty quick and as I said the only downside to it is for me is storage nothing else and I think they should actually start making these phones with more storage especially people with these cameras people are gonna take more pictures more videos and it's pretty nice nice it's a LCD screen not an amulet like the others but this one it's a pretty sharp screen I'm telling you it's a nice phone nice screen and for the price is not it's not bad I think now they have these the price got lowered since the iPhone 11s came out I think this one starts at like $5.99 in the Apple Store but I'm sure you can get a pretty good deal online somewhere else all right and yeah it takes a little getting used to this phone but pretty much I really like it I have no complaints so far on this phone no complaints at all so I think this is gonna wrap up the video here just gonna wrap up this video right here guys and I'm gonna go back and probably do an in-depth review on this phone on my next video okay so thanks for watching this is Parchi Tech. don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to the channel for more content coming soon thank you